as Coach Pearl said, this was a must win game. Missouri, in my opinion, the past couple of weeks has been the second hottest team in the SEC, only behind Alabama, who's currently sitting on the one line in the CPI. Yeah, the CPI, the Charlie Power Index. That's a combination of all things good consideration, including some parts of the net ranking. Auburn came in, played their tenacious defense, and the big guys took control. KD came out early, just KDing it up. 89-56 going away. 33-point victory. 33-point victory. This is a big win. It's a quality win. All right. Missouri has been doing so much positives lately. And, and then Auburn, who is just looking for something to build on. Five of their last six games have been losses. Yet in all five of those losses, they were close. They were to the wire. Some of them controversial losses. It just was missing by this much, but the team has always been fighting there. Sometimes it's pure frustration that kicks in, but it you were just waiting for this moment, and tonight was finally that night. Auburn just put it on to them and, and just never looked back. When you hold Missouri to 0.7-something points per possession, your defense is just clicking and firing. You hold them to 36% shooting, I believe it was, maybe even less than that. Big time. We had 16 offensive rebounds to help out. Dylan had five. Junai had five. It was just a big offensive rebound production, which led to a lot of second-chance points. We had 17 second-chance points to help. We had three guys in double digits. Broom had 20. Allen had 16, and KD, lighting it up from the three-point land, had 15. He had, KD had four three-pointers. We made nine overall. 50% shooting from the three-point line. Overall, just great night. Wendell did not make a single jump shot, but yet he had nine assists. So even though his scoring average is going to come down, his assists per game were up. He had another steal to the list. We, had, we forced nine steals. Dylan had three blocks himself. The defense was just lights out. This is one of those games where everything was clicking. And then Missouri just, I guess, they tried. I mean, listen, I got, I'm got i a big fan of the Missouri Tigers for the 2022-2023 season. I think they're going to have a lot to offer the tournament. I think they're going to be a tough out. So the fact that both of us were laying on the four line, because goal number one is still available. Get the, get the double buy in the SEC tournament. Get the double by. So Auburn now is a game up on Missouri and looking to hold on to that four line and then get the double by. And whatever happens from there happens to there. Maybe they can get as high up as the two seed. We'll see where, where, where it goes from that. But this was a crucial must win game tonight. Exhale. Yes. Now you got Vanderbilt next. Vanderbilt's coming off a big win at South Carolina. And then they beat Tennessee right before that. This is a Vanderbilt team with Coach Stackhouse. Let me tell you, Liam Robbins is going to be a nightmare to handle underneath for Vanderbilt. So our work is cut out for a Saturday night, assuming you're not watching Extreme Rules and you're having to flip back and forth between both or you got two screens going at the same time. Because that one's going to be a battle as well. And, and it's a, we're in this stretch where these are all three must-win games. The biggest of these three was Missouri. And this is a huge checkpoint. Missouri has a lot of quality one wins. And I believe this is going to get Auburn a Q1 victory here. What are your thoughts on the game? How are you liking it? Auburn had a really great night. 48 rebounds, making 16 free throws, 50% from the three-point line, 9 of 18 shooting. They, they were scoring at a 1.2 points per possession, which is huge for them. 40-some points in the paint. Everything you could ask for worked, and you knew it was just a matter of time before it could click, and hopefully all of frustrations from all the different levels, just because of just the missed opportunities and just the, the calls that just did not go our way, finally came to 
a good output. And now hopefully this is the beginning of a huge momentum. Again, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. War Eagle.